Hi, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel, and today I'm with Jim McKenzie, the President, CEO of uh, Viscount Mining, ticker symbol VML on the Venture Exchange. Hi today, Jim. I am fantastic. Thank you, Chris. Pleasure to be with you. Great. Uh, well, Viscount, I've known you for a long time now, for a number of years, and I know a lot about your company. You're a project generator with a couple of really good projects, uh, silver projects in the U.S., uh, one of them is in Colorado, and one of them is in Nevada. But how about we start talking about um, your project in Colorado? Well, thanks, Chris. Yes, we have uh, two very compelling projects that uh, could both be company builders on their own, Silver Cliff in Colorado and Cherry Creek in Nevada. Silver Cliff, we were attracted there based on historical work that was done in the 1980s. There was roughly 114 million ounces of silver proven out there, 64 million ounces at the Passiflora by a company called Coke. But at the time, silver was $3 an ounce and uh, wasn't able to put it into production. The second is the Cape Deposit that was owned and drilled by Teneco, a subsidiary of Tennessee Oil and Gas. They had proved out 50 million ounces of silver beginning at surface and going down to about 50 meters. They were in the process at the end of the 1980s of building a $35 million mill to put it into production. This is when silver was around $5 an ounce. But Tennessee oil and gas got bought out by a European conglomerate that was only after the oil and gas assets. So the project got put into mothballs. We were very fortunate to put the area together a uh, number of years ago and started drilling in 2016, 2017, focusing on the Cape, which uh, we consider to be the low hanging fruit and drilled some exceptional uh, drill numbers. Again, as I mentioned, starting from surface, uh, 1,700 grams over uh, six meters, 924 over 14 meters, 391 over 14. So you sort of get the idea of the picture. And right now, uh, I, I know that you uh, have a 43101 resource uh, on the uh, Silver Cliff property in Colorado of almost 13 million ounces, uh, which if you look from a valuation standpoint, uh, the market for your market cap is, is pretty much uh, you know, given about $10 an ounce or, or, or something along that line. Uh, sorry, not even $5 not even an ounce. That. Yeah, right. it gives you a, a mark, your, your current market cap. So what did you do this summer from a drill standpoint to build on that? And, and are you uh, going to put a new resource out sometime soon? Yes, we actually went back in in October of last year and ran our uh, phase two uh, drill program. Uh, pardon me, phase one. Uh, we have a three phase program. Uh, that we're uh, currently working on. Uh, again, we continue to hit uh, great silver grades. Uh, again, starting very close to uh, surface, we uh, had uh, 100 grams over uh, 21 uh, meters, uh, 702 over 14.9, 105 over 15, etc. In the spring, we went in and again, uh, we're hitting uh, triple digit numbers over uh, uh, long lengths. Uh, we had a great hit starting right at surface over uh, 20 meters of uh, uh, 52 grams and uh, within that 10 meters of 236 grams a ton. We went back this fall and uh, actually uh, late summer, uh, early fall and just completed drilling 13 holes on the project. We have five more that we want to drill. And when those are completed, we will come out with a revised 43101 on the Kate, which should be sometime in the first quarter, uh, fingers crossed of next year. Yeah, an excellent. And, and talking about quickly just switching over to Cherry Creek, uh, that's a, a project that you've outsourced to a third party who's uh, optioning into it. Can you, what can you tell us about that one uh, that's happened over the summer as well? Well, um, Cherry, uh, Cherry Creek was actually the uh, flagship property that Viscount uh, started on uh, when we went public back in 2014. 
this is an area in northeastern Nevada, had uh, 20 previously producing mines on it, uh, produced from the mid-1800s to about 1920, gold and silver. Uh, nice grades, uh, by the way, uh, that came off of, uh, off of there. Uh, sort of averaged around 7.1 grams a ton of gold and 564 grams a ton of silver. Uh, the property laid dormant until the 1940s. The U.S. government went in and mined tungsten for the manufacture of munitions during the Second World War. And uh, again, nothing happened until we put it together. Uh, it took a year to do that with the five families that had the district. Sentara approached us in August of last year and started doing their due diligence. And in January, we announced that we had entered into a exploration agreement with them, an earn-in, where uh, they can acquire 70% interest on the property by spending $8 million over four years. What sort of milestones do you see from that uh, project over the next couple of months? Well, uh, we've already announced some uh, significant uh, milestones uh, on, uh, on the property. Uh, we had a news release that came out in uh, early uh, September uh, that had a number of significant milestones. A, uh, they basically doubled uh, the size of the property with their staking. And uh, this was really uh, because they had utilized geochemical sampling and geophysics throughout the, uh, throughout the property and saw that this was extending off of our claim block. Basically, they mapped this large Eocene intrusive rock body that floors the district. And these type of rocks in Nevada are closely associated with many of the carbon type gold deposits in the region. While they did that, they identified multiple gold, silver, and base metal targets, specifically uh, sediment hosted disseminated gold uh, deposits replacement silver deposits, high grade gold and silver vein deposits, and an intrusive related base metal deposit that we will talk about in a upcoming news release. And do you think they'll start drilling that sometime soon? Yes, we're expecting to uh, start drilling uh, this year. Uh, they have uh, targets already chosen. Uh, they have to date uh, built uh, 12 out of uh, 15 of the pads and are uh, just completing that as we speak. Well, that sounds great. Well, thanks for the update, uh, Jim. I was speaking with Jim McKenzie, the president and CEO of Viscount Mining. Uh, ticker symbol is VML on the Toronto Venture Exchange.